Hello everybody, Saltasuit Ren here, and man, it's been a long time since we've last dabbled in anything clan gen related, hasn't it? But I thought it might be fun to see what the community's been cooking up, and I came across this little mod, which I thought might be nice to record one episode of, at least. I don't know if I'm gonna do any more episodes of it, but at least I'm gonna do just one episode, see what it is. But if you don't know what this is, um... Welcome to LifeGen, which is a ClanGen mod made by a user on the ClanGen Discord named Coffee. Uh, LifeGen is a heavily in-progress mod in which you can focus on the life of a single cat and you follow that one cat's story as the seasons go by. You get to be like the main character in a story and you follow them from being born into a clan as a kit all the way through like their apprenticehood, their warriorhood, their elderhood and probably even like see them die and stuff. And of course like there's other cats in the game, but like they're not the focus. Like that's just going to be the one cat. All the all the events that pop up instead of like be, instead of talking about all the different cats in the clan, it's going to focus on you and your experiences in the clan or the cat that you're playing as, I suppose, if it's not meant to be your self insert. But and honestly, when I saw this, I was, my brain was just like, oh my gosh, yes, because my ADHD brain has so much trouble trying to follow the 20 plus characters I have in my other clan gen series. I try my best. I do try my best, but it's it gets to be a lot, especially when I'm like trying to balance multiple series at once and my focus is mostly on like other stuff besides clan gen. But anyways, um, this is an early version of the mod. Uh, so there will be like some stuff that is gonna be like there's gonna be some bugs. There's gonna be some typos uh, I don't know if it's gonna crash or not. We'll see how that goes and uh, There was probably gonna be like some stuff that's kind of unfinished or unpolished Just gotta roll with it. Okay. It, it, this is a really really early version of the mod Speaking of which that's also the reason I'm only doing one episode for now because there's currently not a way to save or continue the game That's gonna be added in a later update for this mod. But for now, I just want to like see what this one has. Just just consider this a demo of sorts. Uh, there's still a lot that has to be worked on. And if you guys want to take a look at it, I'm going to be putting the link down in the description. If I haven't yet, uh, be sure to remind me. But uh, chances are I probably will like as I'm like posting the video. But anyways, also, if this is the kind of stuff that you guys enjoy, please do be sure to show your support for the channel by hitting the like button and leaving a comment down below. And if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe. We are actually really close to reaching 5,000 subscribers. And if we do, I actually haven't thought about what I might do, but I do want to do something cool, you know? So just be, like, if you guys have any ideas for what I should do at 5,000 subscribers, let me know. I, ha I have like a couple ideas in mind that might involve me like bringing back like some ideas like mixing like clan gen with my Sims 3 stuff. We'll see how, we'll see. Also, I recently made a Patreon. It is still kind of a work in progress. I'm trying to add some idea, some stuff to it, figure out what some of the rewards should be. But I do have some ideas, like some behind the behind the scenes, like sneak previews or you, being able to like add like a character of your choice as an NPC or having your name added to like a list of names that could like randomly pop up in like one of my series or stuff like that, or even like at some of the higher tiers, being able to see like the unedited versions of the video. So if that's, if any of that is something that you might be interested in, please be sure to go ahead and check it out because uh, it, it, I think it'd be really cool. I'm, I'm not sure what all the, all the rewards should be quite yet, but we'll see. But anyways, that's, that's enough from me. You guys have just been staring at this singular image for a while, which by the way, there's apparently like at least three different uh, menus that were all like made by different people. So, uh, if you guys load the game and you get a different image than this, that's that's part of the game. That's part of how it works. But anyways, let's go ahead and hit new clan. I don't know what the I don't know what the uh, clan should be called. I'm gonna randomize it first. Cause this isn't like we are not starting a clan. We're being born into an already existing clan. That's the that's the that's the that's the catch here. This isn't a clan that we are making. This is a clan we're being born into, and the clan we are being born into is... Beetle Clan! Okay. From there, we have a little selection of kits here! Oh my gosh, look at them! So there's Tiger Kit, who is a male kitten who is noisy. 
Ollie Kit, who is a male know-it-all with like orange eyes that blend into the fur. Alder Kit, who is troublesome with this kind of like like dark, this kind of brown pelt and the green eyes, very emeraldy green. Fallen Kit, who looks really cool actually, a little daydreamer, kind of got this like tail and the ears going. That's really cute. Rabbit Kit, who's like, oh my gosh, I love Rabbit Kit, the little attention seeker. It's super cute, look at him. Model Kit, who's like this really dark ginger with like blue eyes. That's just a gorgeous look. I can't wait to see what Model Kit looks like in this as an adult. Not that we're playing as Model Kit, I'm just looking through all the kits. Right now we're just selecting who we're gonna play as. Night Kit, who is polite. Oh, look at you. You're kind of like this dark gray and white with like brown eyes. Ochre Kit, who is troublesome and also has like this kind of dark brown and blue eyes. Cougar Kit, who is a little troublesome and is this kind of creamy ticked tabby. Fennel Kit, who is a kind of dark reddish brown and is quiet. Ginger Kit, who is of course ginger, troublesome and you have like these icy blue eyes. I really do like you and Model Kit. Might be between you two and Holly Kit, or no. You two and Rabbit Kit. But also Egret Kit, who is a male kitten bossy with like these the sunlight ice eyes. Oh my gosh. So the thing is, I didn't even realize her name was gonna be Egret Kit. See, I was torn between these three. And then I see Egret Kit. Uh, I do remember vaguely, I did do like a live stream version of Clan Gen for a while, in which everybody was like super obsessed with a cat named Egret Blotch. And they died, and everyone was so upset, but everyone called them Egg Blotch, because that was kind of silly. I kind of- I think Egret Blotch was also a similar color to Egret Kit here. So I kind of want to say, what if Egret Kit is like the reincarnation of Egret Blotch? I mean, look, Rabbit Kit is adorable, and then these two are just really beautiful and striking. But Egret Kit, I just- I want to bring back Egret Blotch somehow. I'm not gonna like- I'm not gonna change their- I'm not going to change whatever they wind up with, but Egret Kit is going to be the reincarnation of Egret Blotch. I didn't remember much of Egret Blotch's story. But this is going to be Egret Kit being born into Beetle Clan. So, your name is Egret Kit. And we shall continue. And I'm going to choose randomly what our, where we live. Where does Beetle Clan live? Uh, apparently on the cliffs. Okay, we're going to start in... Apparently we're gonna start in New Leaf, that's fine. So let's go ahead and continue. Oh my gosh, look at little potato! Welcome to the world, Egret Kit! Aw, look at you. Okay, well, let's go ahead and, oh my goodness. So here's here's the clan. We, we can't see ourselves right now, but we can see Cat List. Everything's like in totally different places, oh my goodness. Yeah, uh, okay. So, our leader is Fluffstar. Rolls her eyes as Egret Kit suggests for sharing their fresh kill with the other clans. Oh, everything's gonna be centered around Egret Kit! Oh my gosh, that is cool. So, Fluffstar is our current leader. I got like a bright red tail, but it's mostly gray. That is actually super cool. Spindle Freckle is uh, our deputy, I suppose. And is eavesdropping on Frog Fluff. I'm not gonna be paying much attention to most of the other cats. Uh, actually, let's just take let's just take a look. I'm not gonna click through them because we're not gonna be focusing on them. The only one that matters is Egret Kit, who wishes the other cats would stop babying them. Well, you are a little baby. Look at you. Our parents are unknown. Oh my goodness. So we have Fluff Star, Spindle Freckle, Bow Timber, Amber Rise, who looks very gorgeous. Uh, I don't think we have a mediator currently. We have Shell Spot, Midge Freeze, Frog Fluff, Hoot Dapple, Bow Feather, Dancing Spots, Paleback, Bleak Leaf, Sycamore Mimic? Yeah, Sycamore Mimic. It's a very interesting name, but I do like it. And Duck Fleck. So these are some interesting cats. I like Sycamore Mimic's name. That is fun. Bow Feather is pretty gorgeous. Uh, I do like Hoot Dapple. I love that little dash on your nose with a stripe down your back. So many of these cats look really cool, but where is our parents? Who is our parents? 
for that, we are going to have to go ahead and time skip one moon. Oh! The first sight that greets your curious gaze are the faces of your parents, Bow Timber and Midge Freeze! Their, uh, their eyes shimmering with a warmth of love that fills the den. Nestled into the soft bedding of moss and feathers, their gentle purrs vibrating against your tiny body, the nursery becomes the canvas upon which your life begins. Welcome to the world, Egret Kit. So Bow Timber and Midge Freeze are our parents. Okay. Oh wait, I, I got I got mixed up. I, I saw Bow Feather. Bow Timber is one of our parents and is checking up on the warriors. And oh, Bow Timber's the medicine cat. Okay, our, one of our parents is the medicine cat. And then there's Midge Freeze, who is a righteous hunter. Oh, and, oh our, our, our parents are both Toms. Okay. Interesting, interesting. We got gay dads. Nice. This is just in time for Pride Month, actually. <laughs> I think we're probably adopted, too. That seems to be about it. It says we're a clan founder. But I don't think we actually are. But look at this. We're telling Duck Fleck to change the bedding in the nursery. Okay, what's going on in the, with the bedding in the nursery, then? Duck Fleck is sparring with some clan mates. Okay. Keeping in mind, I'm not going to be check checking on every cat. We're only going to be checking in on what Egret Kit is interested in. Egret Kit is getting along pretty well with the leader, a little bit well with the with the deputy. Actually, you don't like Fluffstar as well. We have a pretty neutral relationship with our with our dad, the medicine cat. Get along okay with Hoot Dapple. We get along better with a d Duck Fleck, apparently. Getting along okay with Amber Rise. Uh, pale back, we do not like. Dancing spots, we get along with okay. Uh, frog fluff, we kind of like. Bow feather, we kind of like. We don't get along super well with midge freeze. That's interesting. We don't get along so well with our dads. That's kind of sad. A uh, sycamore mimic, we kind of like. And then shell spot and bleak leaf, we're kind of neutral about. And then it also has relationships here. We can just see these relationships exclusively. Which is apparently Egret Kit thinks that Fluffstar is being annoying. Uh, but we do have a nice chat with Fluffstar and Amber Rise while eating. Uh, Spindle Freckle thinks Egret Kit was nice to them today. Aw, we are just a cute little kitten after all. Uh, Bowfeather said they'd cover for Egret Kit, but when it came time, they got Egret Kit in trouble. Bowfeather, come on! Why, why would you get the little, cute little kitten in trouble when you say. Why would you, why would you trick a little baby kit? We're just one moon old, come on. And Bleakleaf admires how brave we are. Okay. We're a brave little kit. Ready to take on the world. And then there's also the option to do patrols. These aren't actual patrols, by the way. This is just a little thing we can do. We can click on. You overhear the elders telling stories of great warriors. Well, we don't actually have any elders in the clan currently. But it could just be like the older cats. That's what we could say. This is the older cats that we are overhearing. So... If you try to listen, but the elders notice you and gently ask you to leave, saying the stories aren't suitable for kits. Oh dear. Well... I guess that... that's... I guess they must be telling some pretty violent stories. That'll happen, I suppose. In that case, let's go ahead and see what Moon 2 brings to us. Oh my gosh, look at all this! A butterfly dances around the camp, its wings catching the sunlight. You chase after it happily. Aww. During a quiet moment, you notice the leader watching the sky from their den. The sight of the leader, usually so busy in a moment of quiet contemplation, is a rare sight. Okay. You watch a leaf fall from a tree, its descent slow and graceful, just normal kid stuff. And under the watchful eyes of your parent, you get your first taste of fresh kill. The taste is strange, but you feel a sense of growing up. That is, like, just normal kit stuff growing up. This is actually really sweet. It is pretty in-depth, just following one cat's life. I like this. As for current relationship statuses... Egret Kid is talking with, Spin with Spindle Freckle. Fluffstar finds a bit of fluff that smells like Egret Kid and adds it to their nest. Okay, so we're getting along well with Egret with Fluffstar. We are Egret Kid. Uh, Frog Fluff admires... Not frog. Fog Fluff admires how brave Egret Kid is. I think Egret Kid is a very brave little kit. I like that. Bow Feather thinks Egret Kit was nice to them today. Midge Freeze, Bleak Leaf, and Egret Kit took a sunbath and had a little small talk. Midge Freeze trains playfully with Egret Kit. 
uh, Mitri's is training with the Great Kit? I think we're a little young for that, but okay. And Shell Spot admires how brave Egret Kid is. It's nice, it's all nice. And we are pestering the older cats to play with us. I mean, all the cats in the clan are currently older than us, so, like, that's fair. Current relationships, uh, seems to still be about the same. I think I'll check- I think- I think I'll hold off on, like, checking in on these until, um... Until the end of the episode, actually. We'll see. We'll give it a few moons before we check in on that again. Anyways, let's go ahead and see what we what adventures we get up to today. An apprentice offers to show you some basic hunting moves. What apprentice? Did I'm gonna guess that this is an apprentice from another clan who kinda crossed the What well why would that happen? I don't know. There's no apprentices in the clan currently. It's just a bunch of older uh, older warriors and us. Okay, sure. You manage to mimic the apprentice's movements accurately. They look at you with pride and commend your quick learning. Aww. We are doing so good. We're a very bossy kid, but we are trying our best. We're very brave. We're able to mimic mimic an apprentice super accurately, even though no, there's no apprentices currently, but everything's fine. That's totally cool. Next moon. Three moons old. Your first taste of fresh kill as a mouse, brought to you by a proud warrior. You sit in the middle of the camp under the watchful eyes of your clanmates as you take your first bite. The rich flavors fill your mouth, a stark contrast to the milk you're used to. The clan's life revolves around the fresh kill, and this moment feels like your first step towards becoming a true member of the clan. Now, we did actually wind up eating some fresh kill before, but like, this is more in depth. This is more like, yeah, we are totally gonna be a warrior now. Another butterfly dancing around the camp, that's adorable. And a sudden gust of wind sweeps through the camp, scattering leaves and dust. The camp, usually so orderly, becomes a whirlwind of activity as cats scramble to secure loose items. Oh dear. Well, hopefully none of that affects us. Egret Kid appreciates Duck Fluck, telling them that they had a feather stuck to their face. Oh dear. It probably was blown into our face by the wind. Fluffstar and Egret Kid joke around about how bad the other clans smell. Oh, that's actually kind of cute with little Kit. Bow Timber wishes they could get their pelt to shine like Egret Kit. Bow Timber, come on. That that's our that's one of our dads, isn't it? Why is why is our dad jealous of us? Come on. Just got just got to groom it more, Dad. Fog, fl I keep on saying Frog Fluff. It's Fog Fluff. Surprises Egret Kit with something nice. Oh, that's nice. Bow Feather is having a wonderful time discussing recent clan news with Egret Kit. Shell Spot bickered about something trivial with Egret Kit, oh dear. And Bleak Leaf challenged Egret Kit to spar with them. How? How? We are a kit. How do how do we spar? It's pro probably just like play play fighting type stuff, not actual like let's spar. It's probably just like they're pretending to be like a big lumbering badger and we pounce on their back, like, yeah, I got you! That kind of thing is all I can think of. And we're currently batting pe pebbles across the camp clearing. Everybody else is trying to clean up and we're just making the mess worse by, like, tossing pebbles everywhere. Or maybe the pebbles got knocked loose here. To be fair, considering we live on a cliff face, it's very important that we keep this place clean so there's no, like, falling off and getting into trouble, you know? That- actually, that would be very dangerous, come to think of it. But anyways, what is today's adventure? Since we're a trainee, don't know how, we are a kit. A group of kits dare you to sneak into the leader's den while they are away. What what other kits? There's there's nobody here but us. But just as you're about to leave the den, the leader wanders in. You get scolded or told to stay in the nursery. Oh dear. Well, that's what we get, I suppose. For listening to imaginary kits in their head, I suppose. Anyways, four moons old. We stumble upon a shiny pebble, its surface gleaming in the sunlight. We decide to hide it under our nest as our secret treasure. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. I love it. Uh, we are having a wonderful time discussing recent clan news with Duckfleck, meanwhile. Fluffstar swaps pr their favorite prey with us. Spindle Freckle is always happy to grab some fresh kill for us to share. That is sweet. Now Timber caught us complaining about them behind their back. Oh, I, I feel bad. Like, I was like, oh my gosh, we got two deaths. But now we, we're like, just, we don't like Bow Timber, who is the medicine cat. I wonder if Bow Timber's just like super busy. I, I feel bad. I do, I just feel bad. I'm sorry, Bow Timber. <laughs> Uh, Amber Rise is having a wonderful time discussing clan news with us, again. Paleback realizes they were too harsh in their judgment of a tiny little kit, apparently. 
The Unseen Spot swaps their favorite prey with Egret Kit. And that seems to be about it. Okay. And meanwhile, we're just mad that no one will listen to them. I wonder if like, we're trying to get along with our dad. How, how well do we get along with Bow Timber? It's still totally neutral here, on our, on our side at least. We get along okay with Midfreeze, at least, but... Bow Timber... It's totally, like, very, very, very neutral on Egret Kit. Just everything going there. I think Bow Timber just doesn't get along well with other cats, because look at look at you and Amber Rise. Well, anyways, time for an adventure. We noticed a strange-smelling herb by the Medicine Cat's Den. Would we like to investigate? You know what? We have been very impulsive. We have just been, like, getting into all sorts of trouble, messing around. We're, this, the Medicine Cat is also our dad, and I think we're going to be trying to get his attention. Because, like, right now, we don't have the best relationship with him, so I think that Egret Kit being bossy and, like, kind of, like, trying to get as much attention going to be like, trying to get Bow Timber's attention, so let's proceed. As you approach the herb, you sneeze loudly, alerting the Medicine Cat who scolds you for wandering too close to their den. Aw, Bow Timber, Dad, come on. I just, I just want, I was just curious. I wanted to hang out. Come on. That's what I get, I suppose. Anyways, next moon. Five moons old. Oh my gosh, look at that! We caught an insect while sneaking outside of the camp and we wear its wings proudly as a trophy of our journey. Oh my gosh, we got little, like, is that cicada wings? That's adorable. Our first taste of fresh kill is a mouse. We've actually already had some fresh kill. This is the third time we've had fresh kill for the first time, but that's totally fine. We don't actually have any siblings, but it says that you, you and our, your siblings transform the nursery into a battlefield, each of you adopting the role of a mighty warrior. The air is filled with your tiny growls and hisses, your claws swiping at imagined enemies. The nursery, usually a place of warmth and safety, becomes a stage for your play fight, the mossy floor cushioning your tumbles and leaps. The game ends with your laughter and shared stories of pretend heroic deeds and narrow escapes. I'm not sure how that comes into play here, considering that we are an only child. But, sure. A butterfly dances around the camp. Again, we really do love these butterflies in the camp. During a game of Hunt the Pebble, a shiny pebble catches your eye. Its surface is smooth and cool under your paw, and this is another pebble. We have two pebbles now, and wings. And another thing with us and our imaginary siblings, who don't actually exist. The nursery turning into a mock camp. The nursery usually plays the safety... Yep, this is the exact same thing. Uh, being chosen as the leader, though part of the game, is a moment of pride and responsibility. A glimpse into the role you could one day hold. I think Egret Kid is gonna hold on to that, like, really deeply, because we're only, like, a moon away from being an apprentice. Come on. Meanwhile, Egret Kid appreciates Duck Fleck telling them they have a feather stuck to their face. Uh, we are getting along well with uh, Fluffstar and Midfreeze. We're having a nice talk while we eat. Fluffstar reminds us to grab something from the Fresh Kill pile if we haven't already. Bow Timber is finally having a wonderful time discussing recent clan news with us. Finally, we're getting along with Dad better. And Bleakleaf saw Egret Kit the other day and did get and did get a chance to meow hello. That's good. That's good. Wait a second. Hold, hold on. Who's this? I see. A, suddenly, there's another cat here. When did this happen? There's just suddenly Guppy Kit. Guppy Kit is the kit of Paleback. Okay. Guppy Kit offers to leave camp to collect moss, but they can't because they're kids. Oh my gosh. Look at little Guppy Kit. I didn't even know this Guppy Kit was here. They're super cute. Hello, Guppy Kit. Welcome. You are awesome. Also, I just realized Sycamore Mimic has, like... I thought that was... I thought for a moment that might be Torshell, but no, those are scars. That is actually... How did this happen? When did you get so badly scarred, Sycamore Mimic? What's going on here? It's really interesting, like, seeing, like, there is, like, some stuff happening in the clan that I'm just not paying attention to. Shellspot has some scars on their leg. Oh my gosh! I just realized there's, there's some cats who are dead. There are Dancing Spots and Amber Rise are dead. When did this happen? Uh, Dancing Spots died from eating tainted prey. When did this happen? And Amber Rise also died from eating tainted prey. What happened here? How did this happen? But uh, meanwhile, we're also asking older kits how older cats how kits are born. Well, 
I'm not sure if we were able to witness Guppy Kit be being born, but that is one of the ways. Guppy Kit was actually born in another clan, but chose to come to this clan to be with their other parent. Huh, okay. Well, let's go ahead and see what today's adventure is before we become an apprentice. An apprentice that you look up to approaches you one day asking if you'd like to sneak out of camp. You know what, we did try and sneak out of camp already, but there's an- What apprentice? There is none. There is stuff that's happening that I just can't see happening, apparently. Because I'm just focusing on what our little kit wants to do. That's the thing. You can check in on the other cats, but I'm just trying to focus on Egret Kit. My my circle of awareness narrows down to what Egret Kit is aware of. So... The warrior on guard duty catches you. They bring you back to the nursery and you receive a scolding. Ah, well, I, just, just you wait till next moon. I'm about to become an apprentice. Just you watch. There we are, Egret Paw! Your heart pounds in your chest as you sit beneath the great rock. The murmurs of the gathered clan rise around you, vibrating through your paws. Fluffstar, a figure of strength and grace, stands tall on the rock, their gaze penetrating the crowd until it lands on you. You feel the weight of the stare, not menacing, but filled with expectations. As your name is called, the assembled cats fall silent. Respect, recognition, responsibility, and all bl all of those blend into a heady mix as you step forward, your young eyes meeting those of your mentor, Duckfleck. The brief touch of your nose to your of their nose to your forehead marks the change of your status, and you are now named Egret Paw. And look at us! Look at look at how look at how beautiful that pelt is too. Just look. Egret Paw goes to tell a secret to Shell Spot, only for Shell Spot to tell someone else's secret to them. Oh great, wonderful. Spindle Freckle sees that Egret Paw's piece of prey looks tastier and asks if they'd like to swap, and so we agree. That's nice. Bow Timber offers to groom a hard-to-reach spot, hard to reach spot place for Egret Paw, who thanks them earnestly. Thank you, thank you. That is actually really nice. I'm so glad we're getting along better with our dad. Bow Feather asks Egret Paw how they're doing. Low positive effect, but you know that's fine. That's nice. Sycamore Mimic is having a wonderful time discussing recent clan news with Egret Paw, and Guppy Kit caught us in a lie. Guppy Kit, come on! Oh, there's another kit in the clan. How'd this happen? There's another kit. Uh, Flip Kit is the kit of Shell Spot, and was also born another in another clan, but chose to come to this clan to be with their other parent. Okay, this is interesting. I'm trying to like check in on stuff. Has anybody else died? No, good. Thank goodness. But Egretpa is making their mentor laugh, so our mentor is Duckfleck. Duckfleck, what are you up to? Uh, Duckfleck took their own insecurities out on the friend the other day and feels awfully guilty. Oh, Duckfleck. Meanwhile, I'm also just clicking through the other cats, seeing what they're up to, and Sycamore Mimic wants to get to know Egret Pod better. Okay, Sycamore Mimic, that would be nice, that would be nice. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and go on patrol, or do whatever it is that we're doing now that we are an apprentice. Let's go ahead and see what we do. You spot a large mouse nearby. Shall we try and catch it? See if we can show off for our mentor? We attempt to catch the mouse, but it escapes at the last moment. Better luck next time. Ah, oh, well. Also, uh, our kit our kit trait has changed into a new trait, which is confident. I like that. That totally fits for Egret Pod, too. So, makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. And now we have our first dream from Star Clan, leaving you puzzled and intrigued. Since when are we getting Star Clan dreams? We're just an apprentice. We're a warrior apprentice at that. But meanwhile, uh, we think we can we think we can tell Duckfleck something important. Maybe we're telling Duckfleck about our dream from Star Clan. We are the main character, come to think of it. So we'll we'll just tell Duckfleck, like, hey, I think I had the dream from Star Clan last night. I don't know if Duckfleck believes us, but we'll check on that. Oh, I actually see down here it says Duckfleck is letting Egret Paw share their troubles with them, hoping they'll feel better afterwards. That's very interesting, actually. I I really like that. That all just kind of goes well together. Spindle Freckle thinks Egret Paw was nice to them today, and Hoot Dapple apologized to Egret Paw for something or other. Okay, okay. Bleak Leaf and Egret Paw joke around about how bad the other clans smell. <laughs> well, yeah, we probably we probably have been on at least one border patrol by now and have like smelled the other clans and like, ugh, that that they they don't smell like us. That's weird. They don't smell like Beetle Clan. They smell like fish and rabbits and stuff. Ugh. I do want to see what your relationships are. And does say you had a very strange dream. Which, yeah, you did. 
You are starting to get along a little bit better with your dad, or at least you have a little bit more comfort. We are very close with Bowfeather, platonically. We have, we're very good friends with Bowfeather. We have a lot of trust in our mentor here. We're starting to get along with Midfreeze, at least. We get along pretty well with Sycamore Mimic. Anyways, let's go ahead and see what today's adventures are. The deputy chooses you for a dawn patrol. Excellent! I am very happy to do that. We are confident we're going to do well. We joined the patrol and successfully scout the clan borders. Our alertness does not go unnoticed. Good. We are doing quite well, I believe. So, at eight moons, we attend a gathering, the clearing field of cats from all the clans. We're sent on a dawn patrol for the first time. Technically, that was last moon, but still. The sight of the forest waking up to the first light of day is breathtaking and you feel a sense of peace. We join a night patrol, the territory of maze of shadows under the moonlight. That is awesome. We spend a day with the medicine cat, our dad, learning about different herbs. The knowledge is fascinating and you develop a newfound respect for the healer's role. I do like that we're finally starting to bond a little bit with, bo with Bow Timber. Like, seriously, we, we need to bond with our dear old dad. And your task was changing the elder's bedding. It's not the most glamorous job, but it teaches you about responsibility and respect for the older cats. We do actually have some elders now. It doesn't say when the cat becomes an elder, it's all just focused on Egret Paw. Everything that we are learning focuses on what Egret Paw is learning. Meanwhile, just, just two things happen in relationships. We meow congratulations to Duckfleck for a job well done. And Hoot Dapple asks us how we're doing. Okay, okay. Apparently, we are also currently eavesdropping on Guppy Kit. Come on, Egret Paw, what does Guppy Kit have to hide? Guppy Kit is asking the medicine cat why all the herbs have to be stinky and gross. Maybe Guppy Kit is, like... Maybe, like, this is happening, like, while we are hanging out with the Bow Timber, like, sorting herbs and stuff. Guppy Kit kind of wanders in and is trying to also get in on this. Like, why does everything smell so bad? It's really gross. Why? I wonder what Bow Timber thinks, actually. Bow Timber has the foul taste of bitter herbs in their mouth. Oh, dear. <laughs> probably can't even answer right now. Is probably just trying to help show how to sort these things, explain their purposes and stuff. That actually does make me think. I did see a post the other day where, like, someone's like, why does medicine have to be, like, why, like, everybody says, like, medicine has to taste bad. Everything says life has to be difficult. Well, why should it? Why can't these things be wonderful and joyful? And someone replies saying, well, actually, the thing, like, I appreciate the sentiment, but the truth is that, like, the actual molecules, like, in medicine are, like, designed to be bitter because, like, we have tried to make it sweet and it doesn't work. We, nobody is more sad about this than pharmacists. And, like, someone's like, I, now I'm just gonna imagine a sad pharmacist crying in the corner whenever I take my medicine, like... Just, I don't know, it just occurred to me. This could be something that we've come across. Shellspot recently put a dead snake at the camp entrance to scare clanmates. Shellspot, you're almost, you're almost an elder, actually. You're not quite an elder yet, but you're almost there. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully we handle the, the dead snake okay. Anyways, let's see what today's adventure is. Today's patrol. During a hunting patrol, you spot a large plump squirrel. However, it's close to the Osprey clan border, and crossing it could lead to a skirmish. Okay, so there's another clan called Osprey clan. Hmm. Well, you know what? We're confident. We've been bold and impulsive our whole life. We have been... We're kind of a troublemaker, let's, let's be real. We... Egret Paw has been a troublemaker his whole life. We're gonna go ahead and... We successfully catch the squirrel and managed to get back to our territory without being spotted by Osprey clan! Our clan is pleased with the extra prey. Hey, we did very well here. We probably shouldn't make a habit of this, but like, come on, this is Egret Paw. Of course Egret Paw would do this, you know? Anyways, nine moons. A squabble breaks out over a piece of fresh kill. The other apprentice fur br bristling in annoyance. Other apprentice? Who's an apprentice now? There is no other apprentice, it's just us, but Guppy Kit is five moons old now. So, Guppy Kid is almost an apprentice. Apparently, we've also heard an ugly rumor about Fog Fluff. Aw, come on, we get along with Fog Fluff. I, th I thought we did, at least. Bow Timber asks Egret Paw how they're doing. We're getting along better with Bow Timber. I do like that now we're a little bit older. Our, our relationship with our dad is going a little bit better. I think it's like, maybe Bow Timber just didn't know how to handle like a really young kid. Like, a literal baby. Like, I, I get that. I don't know how to handle really young kids myself. I think Bow Timber was just like, trying to figure this out. 
But now that now that Igrapa is older, like Bowser was trying to make more of an effort to like get along with his son and trying to just like be there and I, I like that. I do like this dynamic that we're starting to develop here. Sycamore Mimic appreciates Igrapa telling them that they had a feather stuck to their face, oh dear. And Shell Spot wishes they could get their pelt to shine like Igrapa's. Well, just gotta groom it more, I suppose. Maybe get a cicada wing to like reflect the light because it looks so cool. Oh, and it's Leaf Bear now. Look at that. Meanwhile, we're asking Bleak Leaf questions about warrior life. Okay, what does Bleak Leaf have to say about that? Bleak Leaf is basking in the sun, apparently. Apparently, B Bleak Leaf's trick to getting through life is just to bask in the sun in the middle of winter. But you know what, you, there, it does sometimes get pretty sunny in the winter, so you gotta take that sun wherever you can get it, you know? Anyways, today's patrol? There's a stale piece of prey left in the fresh kill pile. Do you want to remove it? Yeah, I think that might be a good idea. We'll just kind of pull that out. You attempt to remove the stale prey, but accidentally knock the fresh kill pile over, over in the process. How embarrassing. Oh, well, we'll just shake it off for confidence. We can, we can handle a little bit of embarrassment. It's fine, it's fine. Anyways, uh, I don't know, I've been recording for a while, but there's no way for me to actually, I can hit save game, but I don't think I can actually continue. I, I actually wonder, will, is there actually a save file for this? I don't think there actually is a save file yet, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to continue this if I leave it. I'm going to, I'm going to keep going until we're a warrior. That's my plan. This might be a long episode, but I am showing off, like, this is like a one-off thing, and I want to try and play through being a warrior. So let's see how far we can get with little Egret Paw. Speaking of which, Egret Slash at 10 moons! The clan gathers in hushed appreciation. Fluffstar takes their place atop the Great Rock. Your heart pounds as your name is called, a sign that it's time to step forward. Your leader's touch on your head, a, traditional, a tradition steeped in history, signals your transition from apprentice to full-fledged full warrior. They honor your kindness and hard work, as you are now known as Egret Slash. I love that name. That is actually a really good name. Oh, we think that Mitch Freeze is very helpful. That's good. We're getting along with our other dad. Egret Slash, Guppy Kit, and Sycamore Mimic took a sun bath and had a little small talk. That's, that's pretty nice to do in the winter. Spindle Freckle asks Egret Slash how they're doing. That's good, that's good. Midge Freeze appreciates how Egret Slash always seems to ask how they're doing. We're getting along pretty well with our dads these days. That's good. Shell Spot is jealous that Egret Slash got to go to the last gathering. I, you're getting a little old and I just became a warrior, so like, of course they're gonna take me because they, they need to announce me as a new warrior, you know? That's how it goes. New warriors get announced to all the clans to behold like their new status and Look, I don't, like, I'm not saying this as an insult, but you are getting kind of old. It's winter, we live on a cliff face, and it might be a little slippery and dangerous for you to get to the gathering. I'm just saying this is logistics. It is, it is literally a matter of, like, safety and your well-being. So, I'm not, I'm not, I'm just trying to, like, you know. Meanwhile, Bleak Leaf gives Egret Slash some feathers from the bird they caught to line their nest. Oh, that's nice. Oh, and it looks like, um, Guppy Paw is now an apprentice. Okay. Oh, Guppy Paw is- their mentor is Fluffstar. Oh my gosh, look at you. You're- you're literally being trained by the leader. Dang, okay. <laughs> but meanwhile, Egret Slash is basking in the sun. We are still confident and we are a great speaker. You know, I- Egret Slash is really, really awesome. I love you. Okay. Our training was mentored by Duckfleck. When they graduated, they were honored for their daring. Their training went so well that they graduated early at 10 moons old. Excellent, excellent. Meanwhile, Fogfluff cheered the loudest at their naming ceremony. Of course, of course. Like, who wouldn't? Like, why Why not? Like, what what happened was pretty impressive. We, we, we graduated at 10 moons. Like, seriously, that is impressive. And thank you so much for cheering the loudest. Like, that is really nice of you. We, we really appreciate it. I sound so conceited right now, but, like, I'm trying to be Egret, Egret Slash. I was about to say Egret Papa. No, we're Egret Slash now. We have such a wonderful name. We are a proud warrior. We are amazing. We are wonderful. Like, why, why wouldn't we be? Anyways, let's go ahead and see what our first patrol as a warrior is like. 
Oh, another stale piece of prey left in the fresh kill pile. Yeah, let's remove it. We remove the stale prey and prevent any potential sickness in the camp. The medicine cat thanks you. Yeah, no problem, Dad. We, we totally got this for you. No worries. Oh, wait a second. I just realized there's one less cat. Where's- where's Midgefreeze? No! That's our dad! Midgefreeze is surprised to find themselves walking among the stars of Silver Pelt. No, how'd this happen? You were scarred when Eagle grabbed you. Midgefreeze froze to death? Midgefreeze froze to death? No! Why did- why didn't I- why didn't I know this happened? When did this happen? I guess this just barely happened, but... I'm gonna say that we found this out like when we came back from a patrol and like suddenly like like Midge Freeze like wasn't like in the camp. A little search was done and then like we like Midge Freeze was like found like having gone out to like try and hunt. Midge Freeze, I'm so sorry. I'm oh, I'm so sad now. Well, I do want I. You know, I'm gonna go until we're 12 moons. That's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna go until 12 moons. Gosh, the last thing we thought was that Midge Freeze was very helpful and like we- they- Midge Freeze appreciates how we always ask how they're doing. Oh my gosh. That hurts! That's tragic! That- oh my gosh. Anyways. We successfully track and hunt down a large rabbit, a rare find for the clan. We mentor our first apprentice! Hello? Who's our apprentice? Are we passing- we're passing on our knowledge and skills. We challenge decision made by the deputy, our voice ringing out in the camp. We're a very young warrior, but you know what? We're already an apprentice, we're already challenging the deputy. We're a great speaker. I think Egret Slash is, like, letting all of this, like... We are the main character, you know? We, we are the main character, like... We're getting a little bit bold now that our father is dead, mid-freeze, but... We're doing what we can, and we're comforting a kid who's scared during a thunderstorm. Aww. Egret Slash is surprised by Bowfeather being thoughtful. Uh, Hoof Dapple reminds Egret Slash to grab something from the fresh kill pile if we haven't already. Shell Spot appreciates Egret Slash telling them they had a feather stuck to their face. Leak Leaf, Egret Slash, and Fluffstar took a sun bath and had a little small talk. Okay, okay. We are getting along pretty well with the leader. I have noticed that. Like, we get along, like, so well with the leader, and I kind of like that. If any- I'm say- I'm not gonna say anything's gonna happen to the deputy, but if anything happens to the deputy... I think we're kind of a shoo-in, you know? So who is our- maybe we just like- it's- we don't have an apprentice, it says. So maybe we were just kind of helping train, uh, Guppy- Guppy Paw? That could be it. We were just trying to help- help train Guppy Paw. And we also want to get to know Flip Kit better. Flip Kit could be our apprentice. That could be interesting. Yeah, Guppy Paw wants to be a fierce warrior someday. She's also very compassionate. And the flip kid is waiting for an opportunity to sprint out of sight. Good for you. <laughs> I, was, I was saying, good for you. You are impulsive. But you know what? That is just like that is just like Egret Pa when or Egret Slash when he was young. Ah, I see so much of myself in you, little flip kit. What? Maybe one day I can help, like teach you, like rein that in and just be a great warrior for your clan. Bog Fluff wants to get to know us better. Okay, okay. Bog Fluff was like kind of help, like cheering very loudly. I think Fog Fluff could be a great friend to us. Anyways, let's go ahead and see what today brings. The deputy is forming a border patrol. Do you want to volunteer? Absolutely! We join the patrol and do an excellent job securing the clan's borders. Our vigilance is noted. Good. We are doing our very best here. We are absolutely going to be knocking this all out of the ballpark. And let's go ahead and see what the final moon for this episode brings, this little mini-series, because I cannot save this game, so I cannot continue this for a little while. Oh, look at Egret Slash! Look how beautiful he is! We participate in battle against a rival clan. Claws clash around you. Adrenaline rushes through your body as you hurl, your hurl yourself into the fray. But you know what? We're now fully grown. Look at us. We are we are so handsome. We are wonderful. We are like one of the most desirable cats in the clan, I'm sure. Guppy Paw is listening to our problems, and we're getting along a little bit. Spindle Freckle finds a bit of fluff that smells like Egret Slash and adds it to their nest. Okay. And Fog Fluff stands tall when Egret Slash walks by. We are getting like the respect of all of our clanmates. I love that. We are just one of the most respected cats in the clan. 
And we're bragging about how much prey we caught this week. You know what? Yeah, totally. You deserve to brag. Like, look how well you've been doing. Speaking of which, you get along so well with everybody. Like, look at that. Well, you don't actually get along with Paleback. But you're getting along better with Bow Timber. You're getting along really well. You're really good friends with Bow Feather. You get along pretty well with your with your mentor, the leader, the deputy, Hoot Dapple, Fog Fluff. You get along really well with Sycamore Mimic, not Shell Spot. Bleak Leaf are pretty neutral about, and Guppy Paw. Eh, Guppy Paw exists, I suppose. We all we don't know Flip Kit yet either. Actually, Flip Paw now, who is mentored by Duck Fleck. Well, you know what, Duck Fleck was also recently a mentor and has proven that they are capable of mentoring an apprentice, so yeah, that, that, that tracks. Anyways, let's go on our final patrol for this little episode. There's a stale piece of prey left in the fresh kill pile. Do you want to remove it? Sure. We're gonna prevent any sickness in the camp, and the medicine cat thanks you. You know what, we are doing really well. I think Egret Slash is going to move on to be like one of the most respected cats in the clan. Egret Slash is going to probably one day become the deputy. Egret Slash is going to be like the fire heart of Beetle Clan, basically. Egret Slash is probably going to move on to be the leader, but I don't have time for all of that. I, th th I can't... I've been recording for almost an hour now, like... And, like, I've, we've gone through so much of Egret Slash's life. We've only gone through, like, one... Like, one year in Egret Slash's life, and we've been recording for an hour. I, I, like, I would like to continue, but, like, I can hit save, but it doesn't actually do anything. I'm looking at the folder, and there is no save option. There's no save folder. So, that's just kind of the sad reality of this, but... Uh, hopefully, if this um, if this mod gets an update, I might be able to like, come back to it, uh, and if they can like save and continue, it might be fun to like play with another cat, see their life. But for now, I'm gonna leave this here. So guys, thank you all so much for watching this little life gen, little mini episode. Not probably not mini. It's probably gonna be pretty long now. I think about it, but still. Whatever this was, thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed, please be sure to hit the like button, leave a comment down below letting me know what you think, and if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the future. Stay safe out there, everybody.